What's up guys? Today I'm gonna give you a quick demo on executing your Python programs from file by making use of the terminal. So we'll get kickstart uh, by uh, creating a parent directory and subdirectory. The reason behind this practice is because it helps you keep your work organized uh, and towards a later point of time you would be able to get back or what you call as uh, uh, browse through your programs in a more uh, systematic and organized way. It helps you stay professional. Uh, when you're dealing with the work so it, it's a good practice you know d to develop it as a part of your habit a programming habit rather so let's begin so I've already created a primary uh, directory so I would or what you call it as a parent directory so uh, we'll just change our workspace to that particular directory that is your uh, uh, its term workspace so CD stands for change directory it's a Linux command. Then let's uh, go, uh, get going by uh, creating a subdirectory. So the command to create a subdirectory is mkdir example uh, say 5 because I have a lot of examples lying in that particular workspace. I just want to pick up pick a unique one. Wow, bingo. It's a unique one. So let's change our working directory to example 5. Yeah, there you go. So let's create the Python file by making use of the Vim editor. So that's a command there Vim. Vim. Uh, let's name it as a rev dot and I would end it with the dot py extension which stands for a uh, or which stands as an identification for a python file there. yeah and you can pr uh, print your codes there, program there so as always it's um, uh, what you call a standard practice you know uh, get started with a hello world program so I too would get started with the same here so print hello world and give it a uh, small additional task as well say for instance very equals input what is the task I'm gonna give you here and just gonna retrieve a user's name ask for a username right and then print out the scene so let's check a program now so escape colon wq it stands for save and quit yeah so we are back to the shell prompt now let's run it so I'm gonna pick python 3 to run this so python 3 and the file name rev.py and enter there you go got the message here hello world and now it asks for your name rev and your address is back hey rev so that's it for this quick demo here so uh, as a final tip here uh, I would uh, recommend you to you know uh, end all your file with dot py extension uh, it doesn't matter in Linux but then it does matter in other environments such as Windows so that's it for this session and thanks for have, uh, watching this video and appreciate your time thanks bye